What's up guys, Terrence Lewis with Lewis Helps. We're getting this property ready for the market. Do you have a checklist to get your property ready to hit the market? We do, and we're going through it. I got my son with me, we're gonna go inside and we're gonna get this property ready to turn over to the agents. Coming up, right now. This is Terrence Lewis. Got my little man with me today. I don't know if you've got kids, but kids open and close doors and they turn on and on lights. And if we had a refrigerator, he would be the master of opening and closing the refrigerator. Why is that important? We're going through our checklist. Checklists are very important to have when it's time to turn the property over. You want to go inside your property, turn on and off, flip switches, open doors. You want to... Uh, basically kick the tires and light the fires. You wanna find out what's working, what's not working before your homeowners get in here and you start doing your open houses and you start getting people in here, turning things on and knobs fall off. Nothing more embarrassing than a handle falling off in someone's hand when you're doing your open house. So, very, very important thing to have. Checklist for your property. A few things to go over. We're gonna just go over this list. We're gonna start checking things, opening doors, closing things, and if you've got a, a, a curious little 10 year old that uh, can help you through your checklist, I guarantee you he's gonna find your flaws. So let your kids run through the house and open and close doors. We're not gonna damage anything, but we are going to go through this house from top to bottom and we're going to put it to the test. A couple things on the checklist that you just wanna make sure that you have. A few things that you wanna definitely have on your checklist. I will attach a link below to my checklist so that way you guys can make sure that you have some sort of checklist to go over when you are doing your properties. Um, you definitely wanna check the kitchen sinks, the drains, the dishwasher, make sure it's working, the shower knobs, the shower handles, the garbage disposal, the uh, meters. If you don't have a meter test to test your outlets, Get one, it's a very good investment and test to make sure that you have ground in all of your outlets. You do wanna test every single outlet. We do test all of our outlets. Uh, lawn mode, all light bulbs are in it. You wouldn't imagine if you're just missing a light bulb how the difference of your room will look in lighting up. So make sure all your light bulbs are working. Okay guys, this is just a quick tips video that we've learned from time and time of doing these properties over and over again that you have to have a checklist. Have a systematic approach about how you go about finishing your products, how you start your products. I'm very systematic about everything that I'm doing. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna test this property out. You ready to put it to the test? Yes. He's already on it, let's do it. tested the property out, everything's working order. We do have a nice little checklist for our general contractor. Very, very, very important information right here. You want to do your checklist before you submit your last payment to your GC or your general contractor, okay? That is just a little carrot that you dangle over their head to make sure that you ensure that they get the work done, that they come back 
and tighten a doorknob. They come back and they finish paint, touch up paint in a specific area. So do not give that last payment to the contractor until you've done your checklist. Very, very vital, very, 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 very important information. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. Thank you for joining me and my little man today with uh, going over checklists. I hope this was helpful. Again, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, share this information as you need to. We appreciate it and we out.